Hi and welcome to another episode. This one I'm looking into the Android Tuner for obviously the Android system. Uh, this is your home screen. When you open it up you have a switch to expert mode which puts everything onto a grid um, which is really handy when you know where everything is. If you use it a lot uh, it's a great one to change it to. Um, I only use it for maintenance and I don't like it in expert mode and I don't really know how to get it out of that so I'm not going to show it to you uh, it's just another way of looking at it um, a lot of what's on here can be accessed in other ways throughout this app so uh, on the home page you've got help and support uh, support development translate app version information and request support you can do all this from the help section uh, there's no tutorial or anything to show you how to use this app so this is a handy page if you're a bit stuck trying to do something then you can contact them straight away quickly and easily uh, we've got configure UI set buttons and separate themes language temperature unit text size and other UI related configuration uh, this is uh, the screen that pops up you can you get to this screen through other options as well uh, so you've got your general your themes your main screen your task manager your explorer application manager log cat reader so you can do all this you know, you've got your global language units lock and data directory your font your colors your icons your buttons you know you can go around changing you've got your widgets down here uh, notifications Remove Android battery, do not move Android battery icon. Bad idea too. Uh, battery percent bar, inactive, notification packages, battery notification title. Uh, you've got your autosave location uh, in the recorder. So you can record data as it's happening for review later on to see how your Android's working. Great for maintenance if you think you have a virus or anything like that. Uh, your battery going monitor it, calibrate it, history markers, alarms, so that if it's starting to get low down or if it's being overused through too many apps being open, you can put that alarm on. You've got your active tweaks. Oh, sorry. Your active tweaks, your auto kill defines how to auto kill non excluded applications, screen off behavior, uh, configure screen off profile, so does it switch off when the screen goes off or does it? Just lock out. You've got your boot settings to find switch tweaks to apply on boot. Your application manager. Uh, you've got your create CRI, CWM installer and restore. Create a CWM package to install the app after flashing a new ROM. Create a CWM package to reset all active tweaks. Uh, you've got your help and support, which I showed you. As I said, you can get into different parts of information on the app. You know throughout the app. Uh, you can also translate yeah. so we'll go back I don't want anything translated thank you um, but yeah so that's everything on the home page if we go to the left all the way to the left uh, you, you see a lot of them requires root with this app for stuff you can do because so you can SD card read speed you can analyze that and optimize it your entropy control reduce lags highly experimental may or may not actually work so it's a bit of a beta test at the moment for that one the partition trimming reduce lags potentially created while writing data to system or data partitions as something you can do when it's rooted, your startup event manager, manager startup apps, all events that can trigger on app start, Android out of memory manager, and quick optimization and cleanup, zip align all APKs, optimize database and cleanup system and app. Yet again, this is a root one required. You get, you've got all these options in this one. Update existing backups, backup all user apps, backup SMS, MMS, backup call log, optimize app loading, optimize database access. There are loads that you can switch on and off 
Uh, it's nice and simple like that. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to figure out what where things are, what you can and can't do, and how to do them. It's quite intuitive like that. If we go back along to the right, you've got your device manager, your task manager, application manager, battery manager, network manager, and CPU manager. Um, they pretty much do what they say. Um, all these up here, like your Wi-Fi, priority, your summary, you know, a lot of these you can get into through your, you know, through other places on the app. I'll just show you what your couple of these look like. Uh, it's just showing you the CPU. I'll quickly point it out to you. Just up here, you got your CPU, and you've got sending information, the CPU. So, yeah, it shows you what's going on. I don't have profile. Don't do much of that. So you've got your task manager. This comes up with all the tasks being used, what have been used. You can kill all CPU time, excluded systems, kernel as well. You've got the CPU coming up here. It's doing what it should do. It's under 50%. You really don't want a CPU showing over 50% all the time. Um, especially when it's pretty much static. You've got your memory up here. And you've got your SD card memory as well. Application manager on battery, sleep 0%, awake two hour, through nearly three hours. I've been using this for straight. Uh, let's have a look at the battery manager. Monitoring, discharging, status 40%, health. Capacity source. So yeah, you can find out so much about your app, about your um, Android device through this app. It is fantastic to keep maintenance of with uh, root. Again, is needed for export, export the contents of your SD card, phone hidden paths, root charges. So yeah, you can get right into everything that your Android is doing at that moment. And you can spend a lot of time on this if you're kind of this way inclined when it comes to using your Android devices. You can even do script. Create new script. I don't do this, so I can't really show it. You know, if you're into scripting, that's fantastic. Uh, this will let you do it. I don't do it. Uh, memory cleaner, check memory consumption and clean it from time to time, which is always handy. But nothing, not something I'm going to do now, because as you can see, I've used up quite a lot. So yeah, I am going to need to clean it, go through it, but I've like been doing a lot with it. It's been on for three hours straight. It's going to need a bit of a one. Uh, Linux firewall as well. And then if we go over here, we've got your battery statistics. Just basically shows what most things have been used. Sketchbook X, 16 minutes. Um, yeah, in a few bits, just hardly use any time to kind of go in and out, updating, making sure they're on, switching on when you go on there. This is the one-click option up at the top just here. Just having a look around here for you guys so you can see what some of the options are that you get so you can have a good like nose round yourself because if you're going to download an app for system performance system maintenance and everything else like that 
this is one of the ones that I would definitely suggest. It is a 5 out of 5 star rating, definitely. And there you go. There is the quick overview of Android Tuner, the free version. There's quite a lot you can do on the free version. Some stuff you can't do. Um, but unless you're going to be using it for those reasons, you're not going to need them. So I can understand having to pay for it because there's very few bits. I mean, look, they're always updating because it even says device manager still under construction. So this is such a good little thing to have. It is fantastic to just make sure that your system is working properly. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review of the Android Tuner. Uh, please remember to subscribe, share and like this video. Um, if you don't, then feel free to leave the troll and comment in the bottom section. I won't really care. But yeah, thank you very much and enjoy.